This video is by students from Nottingham Trent University who entered the 2019 Tech Equipment Sponsored Thermo Fluids Competition. We are going to investigate two different phenomena. One will be the bluff bodies and then the next one will be the high, highly deformable structures. So the bluff bodies is anything, uh, any body that is dominated by the pressure drag. So that is uh, produced when there's a viscous loss, um, which is due to the separated flow over the entire body and around the boundaries. In the highly deformable structures, which is any structure that has a high force applied to it, which leads to high deformation that is close to the mathematical buckling value. The problem was that the parachute kept twisting. Uh, to solve this problem, we included a wooden block which uh, the strings would go through this prevented the strings from twisting around each other. Um, another thing that we included was the, a larger ventilation hole. Uh, this would keep the parachute more sturdy and it wouldn't twist as much as it was. Um, another improvement we did was to uh, have a paper cut of the parachute stapled onto the fabric. This was to make sure that the parachute was to keep its shape while in the wind tunnel. The improvement we would make for next time is to make sure that the length of the strings are exactly the same. This is because the length of the string can differ for where the parachute is directed. It can cause the parachute to veer left or veer right. Also, uh, the surface area for each parachute needs to be very, very similar to each other, if not exact. Parachute to a control rod so that it remains in position and doesn't fly back and break anything further down the machine and make sure that it's centralised. We measure the drag using this part of the system and the wind speed with the pitot tube which is mounted inside the wind tunnel and then all our results come up on the VDAS system which is over here and then we use those results to calculate the coefficient of drag to work out which parachute were the best. Once we turn it on, we increase the wind speed up to terminal velocity until the drag remains constant. And then we use the table of results we get at the end to calculate the coefficient of drag to figure out which parachute were the best. In my right hand, we have the circular military parachute design. In my left hand, we have the uh, Da Vinci design and as you can see in the wind tunnel we have the vehicle solution target. Yeah. 